Hey guys, Chris here. You join me here in my 2018 Volvo XC90 T8 inscription. But in today's video, we're not going to talk about this car. I'm soon going to do a 25, 26 thousand kilometers, eight month update that will be coming in a few weeks. I just have a lot of other videos to, <laughs> to release to you guys. But I wanted to talk quickly about the brand new 2019 Volvo V60 cross country that was announced yesterday. Today is Wednesday. Hopefully this video is going up today, Wednesday. And yesterday was Tuesday and Volvo revealed the brand new Volvo V60 cross country. So nothing groundbreaking here. Nothing we, you know, didn't know. We knew there was going to come a V60 cross country since we already have a V90 cross country and we had a cross country variant of the old V60 and, you know, the V40 has a cross country. So cross country seems to become a, have become a, a real uh, trim level in modern Volvos. And it's one of my favorite trim levels. And before we talk uh, further in this video, I want to know what you guys think, what you guys, what is your favorite 60 series car? Is it the XC60? Is it the S60? Is it the V60? Or is it the V60 cross country? Pause this video, comment down below and let's do a subscription break. So comment down below and please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up if you aren't already subscribed to the channel. I do mostly Volvo videos. I like to do Volvo news and yeah. I have a Volvo, I have a Volvo XC90, this is my second Volvo uh, in just about almost three years, so that's what I normally feature here on this channel, though I feature other cars. So the brand new Volvo V60, well, it might be my favorite 60 series car. I really do like the new S60, that's very sporty, especially when with the uh, engineered by Polestar trim. Uh, I think that thing is just sexy, but on the other hand, you have the V60 Cross Country, which takes an already good-looking V60 estate station wagon and makes it look more elegant. So it's jacked up, it's lifted about 3 inches, uh, 7.5 centimeters, comes standard with all-wheel drive, and by now we know there are two engine options, and those engines are the D4 uh, 2-liter diesel 190 horsepower and the T5 2-liter gas engine turbocharged with 250 horsepower. There will probably be a D5 with 235 horsepower and a, also a T6 with 310 horsepower or 316 depending on what market you live in. Here in Europe is 310 horsepower. I don't think there will be a T8 hybrid variant because they don't have that of, uh, of the V90 cross country which is a real pity. That's what I have in this car. But well this four wheel drive system in this isn't you know worthy uh, of a true four wheel drive system because you don't get you know the 50 50, 50 50 torque split you can't split it that way so maybe that's why they did that but they have it in their full blown SUV the XC90 and the XC60 so kind of doesn't make sense oh and guys well the coffees are back coffee break Shai Lada from Espresso House which is the most awesome coffee house in the world it's actually Swedish. It's actually from, from Gothenburg. So we have Swedish coffee or Swedish chai latte in a Swedish car. But the V60, the cross-country series cars have always been, you know, a, a real favorite of mine. Um, I just think they look so elegant and so nice. And this just takes it to the new level with, you know, the body cladding uh, around the fenders, around the bumpers, the lower part of the car and uh, that, that unique grille. And I just, and unique wheels, I just think it looks, the business is my favorite looking V60 variant. And yeah, I, I just like it a lot. And I've been thinking, will we, will we be switching our Audi A4 for a V60 cross country? <laughs> we haven't had our Audi A4 for even eight months, eight months yet. I don't think so. I don't think we're going to change that car up. Uh, anytime soon because that car, well, is, is not even eight months yet, has only done 9,000 9, kilometers, and we're very, very satisfied with that car. But still, the V60 cross country, it's I think it, it, it might even look better than the V90 cross country because the V90 cross country um, is, is so wide and so low, and then when you lift it up, it looks like a, a, a wide, low station wagon on stills, though I still love the way it looks. I just can't decide on if I like the V90 or the V60 better, but the V60 looks so nice. And on the interior, well, the interior looks the same though. They have a different color option 
uh, with the blonde leather at least is what what they've shown so if you've seen my uh, t6 no not my t6 my v60 d4 inscription video link up there in the right corner you'll see that that car had blonde leather and you had blonde uh, you had uh, blonde uh, color on the door so the upper part of the doors were dark but the lower parts like on my xc90 were blonde uh, this does it a bit different so the whole door is black but the inserts inside of the door and the armrest are blonde which is a, a, a really nice way to do it and Volvo if you're listening please give us inscription no our design trims on the 60 and the 90 series cars with a different color option than black do something like dark gray something red I don't I don't care just make it something else than than black because I think a lot of people want the inscription, the R design trim, but not a black interior like myself. As you know, I have an inscription trim as my second XC90 because I don't like black interior. So guys, if you haven't uh, commented down below, please let me know what you think of the new V60 Cross Country. I can't wait to get my hands on one. Hopefully, maybe later this year or early next year, I'll get my hands on a press car. Uh, I think that will be a real game changer for a lot of markets, especially Norway and Sweden, uh, which will bridge the gap between, you know, the, the V60 uh, standard uh, height and the XC60 uh, SUV. So let me know what you think down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you love it? Are you going to get one? If you're going to get one, please let me know what trim you're going to get. So guys, if you like this video, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, guys, Please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.